Hi, we're going to do a Hatha yoga practice. So you can either sit on a chair with your feet flat to the floor, or you can join me coming down on your mat. We're going to start by doing some breathing just to quiet our minds and our bodies. And we're going to do the Ujjayi breath, the victorious breath. So we're just going to focus on creating a soft sound in the back of the throat, just pretending like you're fogging up a window or a mirror with your mouth closed. So just sitting tall, lifting your ribs out of the waist and drawing your shoulders back and softening your shoulders down your back and hands either on the legs or in your lap and either softly closing your eyes or just looking softly to a focal point. We're going to start with cleansing breath. So I want you to take an inhale into your nose and just sigh out as you exhale. We're releasing tensions. Take an inhale in and just sighing out. And let's do one more. Take a deep inhale in and just sign out all the tensions from the day. Now our victorious breath. I want you to take a deep inhale in through your nose. And you're going to exhale out through your nose as you whisper the word ah softly in the back of the throat, creating a soft sound. And if possible, you're going to create that same sound on your inhales. And being aware that you're only breathing with your nose if possible. And that you're not clenching your teeth, keeping the jaw relaxed. I'm just really breathing deep, filling the corners of your lungs with your inhales. And just feeling all that air slowly emptying from your body as you exhale. And we stay sitting tall, ribs drawn up out of the waist. And then as you listen to that breath, if you like, you can set an intention either for your practice or for the day. And then do one more full deep breath. Really fill your lungs with your inhale, long, slow exhales. And when you finish that breath, if you had your eyes closed, I want you to slowly open them. And then we're gonna get ready. We're gonna come up onto our feet. And when you come up, I want you to do a few stretches, just work some kinks out. And we're gonna start with what is called sun salutation A. And we're gonna do this three times, just moving with our breath and just being aware of your body and just do what is comfortable for your body. So we are gonna start by standing tall. Just looking straight ahead, shoulders drawn back, again, they slide down your back. Weight is centering your feet, being aware not to lock your knees. And come back to that breath. And make sure that you're breathing down in the lower lobes, just not into your chest. In sun salutation A, as you inhale, we're gonna bring the arms up if you can, lifting their head. Exhale, we're gonna hinge, folding forward, hands to the legs or the floor. Your inhale, we're gonna look out to create length. Exhale, fingers in line with your toes. We're gonna to step back into a plank, and if possible, you're gonna lower halfway down, elbow and shoulder in alignment or all the way. Pushing forward from the tops of your feet and ankles as you lift the chest, shoulders back, up dog. Exhale, coming to your toes into that down dog. And we're gonna hold here, and we're gonna breathe. Five full deep breaths. Now let your head hang, look to those toes. Gently press your heels a little closer towards the earth and be aware not to pinch your shoulders in but soften across that upper back. And your breath stays smooth and rhythmic and your toes are the only thing you see. Breath is the only thing you hear. And feel as that weight is centered throughout your hands and feet, just feeling the texture of your mat living in this moment right here. And we're gonna do one more breath. And then your following inhale, we're going to step back to the top of your mat. We're going to look out for a half lift. Exhale, folding forward, looking towards that navel. Inhale, press down through those toes, knees soft as you bring your body up. Extend the arms, lift to your thumbs. And exhale, come back to standing tall, creating that plumb line. Moving with that breath, the inhale brings your arms up. Exhale, we're going to fold forward. Inhale, look straight out. Exhale, stepping back, drawing that belly up as you lower halfway, or again, you can choose to lower all the way. Pushing forward if you can, lift the chest, shoulders back and down, lifting the chin. Exhale, coming to your toes to lift your hips, down dog. Again, looking to your toes, just soften and relax where you may be holding tightness. Keep coming back to that breath, using that breath to quiet your mind, to stop the chattering. 
And as you look to that focal point, just taking time to listen to what your heart may be telling you at this moment and addressing what may arise and just letting it flow out with your breath. And we're gonna do one more full breath. And your inhale is gonna step you back to the top of your mat to look out to create length. Your exhale is folding you forward. You should, should feel that weight moving towards your toes. Now pressing through your toes, inhale, coming up, knees staying soft, again if you can, lift your head. Exhale, come to standing tall. Last sun salutation, we're gonna inhale those arms up. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward. And with your inhale, look straight out, really lengthening. Exhale, again, stepping back to that plank, shoulder and wrist in alignment. Exhale, lowers you halfway, elbows in. Inhale, lifting the chest, firm through your thighs. Exhale, coming back to your toes to lift your hips. And softening across that upper back, gently pressing those heels a little bit closer towards the earth. And breath is staying smooth and rhythmic. And jaw is staying soft. And just feeling your breath, being aware of each in-breath and being aware of each out-breath. How they affect the body as you hold the pose. And do one more full breath. And then your following inhale is gonna bring you back to the top of your mat to look out to create length. As you exhale, fold forward, press down through your toes. Keep pressing through your feet as you inhale, coming up, extend the arms, look to your thumbs. And exhale, come to standing tall in mountain pose. So now we're gonna come into a dancer pose. So just standing tall, and again, know that you can always stand by a wall, but we're gonna inhale our left arm up. We're gonna exhale our right lower leg up, and if you can, you're gonna hold the inside of your foot. Now make sure that your knee points down, it's not pulling or pointing out to that side wall. And either looking straight ahead, or knowing that you can always shift your eyes to look down the floor, just don't bend your head down. Now, as you hold this pose, breathing full deep breaths, seeing that Ujjayi breath, victorious breath, See if you can draw your back foot out and up a little bit farther away. Full breath, soften your shoulders, they drop down your back. Just look to that focal point, feel that you are grounded to the earth, pressing down through that big toe. And the jaw stays soft, and we lift that back foot maybe just a little bit higher. And feel as you open and lengthen through the front of the right side of your body. Breath is staying smooth. And we're gonna do one more breath here. And then as you exhale, we're gonna release. Now take time to press that big toe down into the earth again. Inhale, bring that right arm up. Exhale, we're gonna lift that left lower leg. You can stand nice and tall. But there is also an option, if you like, of just bringing your upper body parallel to the floor. So whatever feels comfortable for you. Standing tall as you lift that foot's gonna create a little more bend in your back. Shoulders stay soft, now feel what's happening with that left knee. Again, it doesn't pull out, it should face down towards the floor to align your bones. Jaw is smooth and rhythmic. And feel as you open through the front of that left side of your body, how it may feel different here. Then as you exhale, we're going to release. Now we're gonna come into an eagle pose. Again, this is a balancing pose. Just work with your body. Eagle pose, we're gonna stack our right elbow high on that left elbow. The back of the hands will face each other, or if possible, maybe the palms can slide in alongside each other. Shifting your hips back, we're gonna lower them down, and you can stay flat on your feet. Again, don't pull your knees in, they track with your toes. Or bringing that right leg high in your left leg, bent knee, that same leg stays bent. If you can, hooking that foot behind that lower leg, or maybe just crossing the legs, or maybe you wanna modify bringing that big toe to the floor. But just look beyond your hands for that focal point. Sliding your shoulders down your back. Jaw staying soft. Again, that standing leg is gonna stay bent. And opening across your upper back through your shoulders as you improve the circulation through those legs. And with your exhale, we're going to release. And we stack that left elbow high in our right elbow. 
and back of the hands can face each other or palms against each other. You can shift those hips back lower down and we're going to bring that left leg high on that right leg and if it's comfortable hook that foot behind that lower leg. Soften the shoulders. Just look beyond your hands for that focal point. Full breaths. Now remember, you can stay modified, both feet flat to the floor, but be aware, don't shift your pelvic forward. Pretend you're sitting into a chair, just lowering those hips. Full breath. And do one more breath. And then as you exhale, you're going to release, unwinding the body. So now we're gonna come into a triangle pose. So again, just stepping to the side, feet are about three and a half, four feet apart. Turning that right foot 90, again, lining that heel with your back arch, legs are staying straight. Extending those arms. We're gonna shift that left hip out as you hinge at your right hip, hand gently to the leg, not pushing on the knee. Left arm, if possible, coming straight up or it can rest to the side of your body. Breath is staying smooth and rhythmic. And on your exhales, possibly letting that hand slide a little farther down the leg, but be aware again not to shift your hips out. Body stays in line with that front leg. And tune in, what is happening here on this side of your body? May, where are you holding tightness? And then with your inhale, pressing through your feet, bring your body up. Now opposite side, we straighten that right foot as we turn that left foot 90. Remember the inner thigh rolls out and shifting that right hip out as you hinge, hand gently resting to that leg, full breaths. You can always, if you have a block, place your hand on a block. Just draw a straight line from hand to hand, drop those top ribs down and tune in. What is happening here? How is this pose affecting this side of your body? What's the quality of your breath like? Is it still smooth and deep? And do one more breath. And then as you inhale, bring your body up. And then straightening your feet. I'm gonna step my feet together, turn the top of the mat. And we're gonna come into a revolving side angle pose. So I'm gonna step my left foot back. I'm gonna bend my right knee. My hips are square. My back heel is pressing down into the floor. Hands in prayer, if possible, they're gonna stay along the sternum, but they may wanna to shift towards the shoulder. Now take an inhale as you exhale, rotating to the right. We're gonna bring that left arm, if possible, down towards that leg. It can rest to the leg, or maybe it comes to the outside of that leg. You're gonna follow your right elbow towards the ceiling. Again, front hip shifts back. Full deep breaths, lengthen and extend through your spine with your inhales. Full breaths. Know that you can always look out to the side well, but be aware not to drop your head down so you feel your neck straight with your spine. And we're gonna do one more breath here. And with your exhale, you're gonna unwind your body. And just coming up as you inhale, step your feet back together at the top of your mat. And then bring your right foot back. Again, pressing through your back heel. Stack that front knee right over your heel, hands in prayer. Now again, hips are square, so make sure your back hip doesn't want to pull back. Exhale, rotates you to the left as we bring that right arm to the leg. If possible, following that left elbow to the ceiling. Breath is smooth and rhythmic. Firming through that back thigh. And jaw stay soft. And be aware, don't pull your shoulders up. They slide down your back. And we're gonna do one more breath here. And as you exhale, you're gonna unwind your body. And then inhale, slowly coming up. Just straightening your feet so your feet are wide. Now a side angle pose, and don't turn your hips towards your front leg, keep your body open. Bending that right knee, and forearm to the thigh or hand to the floor or a block. And we're gonna extend that arm up over the ear, so that left arm comes over, palm facing to the floor, and really lengthen. Now again, feel that your knee, your front knee doesn't collapse in. Roll that inner thigh out and up. Maybe lower your tailbone a little closer towards the earth. 
So challenge those limitations, being aware of them so you're not creating pain. And do one more breath. And then as you inhale, just slowly bring your body up. And then straightening that right foot, turn your left and nine, keep your body open to that side wall. Stack that front knee over the heel, again, inner thigh rolls out and up. Chest facing out to that side wall. We're gonna bring that right arm up over the ear. And full breaths, and just reach those fingers away from the outer edge of your back foot. And jaw stay soft. And come back to your breath. Use it to quiet your mind. Keep it deep and smooth. And do one more breath. And you're going to use your inhale to bring your body up. And straightening the feet. Again, I'm going to step my feet together so I can turn the top of your mat. Um, we're going to come into a revolving triangle pose. And if you have a block, you may want to use it. But we're gonna step our left foot back. Again, those toes point upper left hand corner. Your legs are gonna stay straight here, but do know that you can bend that front knee as a modification. And just start with your arms out. And if you're using a block, it would be in that left hand. Exhale, we're gonna to rotate to the right. Your left hand or block comes on the inside of your foot. Gently rotating at your navel if you can, looking up to that right thumb. Now again, be aware of your front hip that it shifts back and really press through your back heel. Jaw is staying soft. Big toe on your front foot presses to the earth. Again, as you feel your back heel pressing to the earth, stretch and lengthen through that spine a little more with an inhale. Just feel as you are grounded to the earth with your feet in your hand. Then exhale, we're going to release that arm down. And then slowly bring yourself up. And when you're ready, step back to the top of your mat. We're going to take you to the opposite side. So we're going to step our right foot back. Again, hips are square. Now if you're using a block, it's going to be in your right hand. Extend those arms out like airplane wings. And exhale, we just rotate right at that navel. Hands draw away from each other, hinging at that hip. Hand coming down on the inside of your foot, pressing through your back heel. If possible, left arm comes straight up. Know that those arms can always come down and rest to the body. Now again, stretch through your spine. Tune into what's happening here, keeping that breath smooth and rhythmic. Know that your breath is always going to tell you where you're at in your practice, and it should always stay deep and smooth. And then with an exhale, just releasing that arm, looking to your foot, and just slowly bring your body up. Keep your feet wide, and then just straighten your feet. And we're gonna come into a wide-legged pose, variation C. So I want you to lace your fingers behind your back and just stand tall. And then as you inhale, lift your chest to look up. Exhale, it's gonna fold you forward. Now, fingers staying laced, so those hands, if possible, are gonna drop towards the floor or they're gonna to rest to your back. And if none of that feels comfortable, just hold on to your elbows as a modification. Again, stretch through your spine so you're not rounding your back. In your exhales, you're gonna keep dropping your body down. Now be aware, hands to your back. Don't let your shoulders pull to your ears. They slide down your back towards that tailbone. And your sit bones lift towards the ceiling. And if you feel too much of a stretch, bend those knees. Be aware of your body. Again, be aware of how you are treating yourself as you hold this pose. And do one more full breath. Then as you exhale, I want you to release your hands down to your mat. Now again, if you have a block, you can use a block. So we're going to stay in this wide-legged pose, but we're going to add a little twist to it. So bring your right hand kind of like center with your feet, almost like in line with your heart. And with your arms straight, again, lengthen and extend with the inhale, stretching through your spine. Now exhale, gently rotate to the left. But be aware, don't bend your knees and just shift your hips. Legs are staying straight. 
Again, lengthen and stretch through your spine so your sit bones are out of one wall as the crown of your head draws to the opposite wall. And we're going to look up to that thumb in full breaths. Now again, be aware of your body. That arm may be straight out towards that side wall versus the ceiling. Just be nice to yourself. The pose should be comfortable. And then as you exhale, you're going to release. Now your left hand, you're going to place it where that right hand is at. And just take an inhale and look out and create a little more length. And exhale, rotate to the right. And again, be aware, don't shift your hips, don't bend your knees. Right arm coming up, full deep breaths. Now again, extend and lengthen through your spine. And be aware that you're not clenching your teeth. So releasing that tension throughout your face. And just a nice gentle twist moving up that spine. And being present to this moment. What's happening right here, right now. In your exhale, we're going to release. And as you inhale, look straight out. Exhale, hands to hips. And on that inhale, we're going to slowly come up. And then stepping your feet together, we're going to turn back to the top of our mat. And we're going to come into a standing full head to knee. So bring your feet hip width apart and be very aware of your body. Now if you have sciatic nerve issues, um, make sure you bend those knees. But just stand nice and tall, look straight ahead. Just like when we started our sun salutations in that mountain pose. And take a nice inhale on your exhale, hinging at your hip. Just imagine that you're bowing at your hip. Slide those hands down. Those hands can stay to the legs. They can be on a block. They can be to the floor. You can choose a ragdoll holding the opposite elbows. Or you can choose hand to big toe with those fingers wrapped around the large toes. So there's a lot of different options here. But the important thing is for you to be comfortable and to work with your body. Keep coming back to your breath. Again, let your head dangle. And feel as some of that weight in your heel moves towards your toes. And nice, full, deep breaths, really expanding your rib cage, stretching those intercoastal muscles. Long, so exhales. And just listen to the rhythm of your breath. You can use that breath to quiet your mind. And do one more breath here. And then as you inhale, looking out a half lift, fingertips to the floor, just lengthening your spine. And exhale, we're going to step back into a down dog. So you're going to lift the hips, let the head hang. Now, we're going to do a twisted down dog, and this may not be really comfortable for your body, so know that you can just stay in a regular down dog here, or you can always lower down to your knees and sit your hips back towards your heels in child's pose. Twisted down dog, lifting those hips up. We're going to take an inhale, and your exhale is going to bring your right hand to that left lower leg if possible, and you're going to look out to that side wall. Now be aware not to shift your hips one way or the other. Not to lift up onto your tippy toes. Relax to the back of your legs, heels drop down. Press all of your fingers on that supporting hand into the earth. Gently rotate at your navel. Breath staying smooth and rhythmic and remember again, release any time. Do one more breath. You'll use the exhale to release your right hand to your mat. Just inhale, create a little length. Exhale, bring your left hand to that right lower leg or just somewhere on your leg, wherever it's comfortable. Maybe it's even in the front of your leg. You can gently rotate without shifting that weight in your feet or your hips. Soften across that upper back. Press all of your fingers and that right hand into the earth. Jaw stay soft. Heels draw them a little closer towards the earth. Now on an exhale, you're going to release, bringing your hands to your mat. Now your hands are shoulder width. I want you to walk those feet into each other so the inside of your feet ankles touch and then shift your body forward so you come into a plank pose. 
Now make sure you're looking out. Don't be looking underneath you. And stack those shoulders over your wrists. And be aware, don't let your pelvic area sag down, but lift those hips. Imagine you're pushing the floor away from you so you feel that you lift up into your upper back. Breath is staying smooth and rhythmic. Again, we're not lifting to tippy toes. Your heels will actually somewhat draw towards the earth. And know people that you can always lower down to your knees, just breathe. You can be aware, be nice to yourself. And with an exhale, lowering to your knees, and they can stay together or you can bring them apart. We're sitting back in a child's pose. We're gonna lower our hips towards our heels. Forehead can rest on a block or your mat. Arms can stay by the ears or releasing those shoulders. You can always bring your arms down alongside your body. Again, resting your forehead to the floor or a block. And just breathing into that lower back. Nice, full, deep breaths. And then with an inhale, coming back to your hands and knees. We're gonna do some cows and cats. So align your knees and hips and align your wrists and shoulders. Coming into your cow, as you inhale, lift the sternum and let the ribs pop out. Exhale, round your back, roll it up one vertebrae at a time, dropping the chin to the chest, tucking that tailbone. And on your inhale, Come back into that cow, lift the sternum, lift the tailbone. Exhale, roll it up, come into that cat, bring it up a little bit higher. And last one, inhale into that cow. What's happening here is you're loosening and limbering your spine. Exhale, come back into your cat and roll it up a little bit higher. And then inhale, lower to a flat back. We're gonna come down onto our bellies and we're gonna do a locust pose. You're gonna bring your arms down alongside your body, palms up. And again, just working with your body, lift what is comfortable, but start with your forehead to your mat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lift the head, the chest, the legs, the arms. Imagine that you're reaching towards your toes with your fingers. Now, if you can, tip your chin up looking to the center of your forehead. Now as you hold this pose, know that you can modify one leg down or hands down. Maybe both legs want to come down. Just be aware of your body. We're not pulling the shoulders up. We're not dropping or caving the chest in. And really lift. So each inhale lifts you a little bit higher. So you're feeling as you open and lengthen the front of your body, and you're feeling as you strengthen through the back side of your body, and we're massaging those internal organs against the floor here as you breathe. And with your exhale, releasing down. Now bring your hands to your mat. We're coming back to our knees. We're going to come back into a child's pose. Just sitting back towards those heels. Just release any tension from the back. Again, just sit back and breathe deep. And focus on that breath moving towards that lower back. And then as you inhale, coming back up, and then I want you to come to sitting. We're going to come into a seated forward bend. So we're going to extend the legs out. And imagine you're pressing the bottoms of your feet into a wall so your toes are up. Weight is even in your sit bones. We're sitting nice and tall. So we're not dropping the chest in, we're not dropping the ribs to the waist. As you exhale, possibly hinging at the hip. And remember, this may be a very small movement. You may feel comfortable just sitting tall. There may, be, may not be a lot of movement here. But look to your toes, open the chest, soften your shoulders and breathe. And jaw, stay soft and relaxed. And feel in your breath. Feel as it moves through that lower back. Just a soft gaze, feel as you lengthen through those hamstrings, through those glutes, possibly into your lower back. And we're gonna do one more breath here. 
And then with your inhale, just slowly bring your body up. We're gonna come into bound angle pose. So we're gonna bring the bottoms of the feet together. We're gonna slide the heels towards the groin and we're gonna do both variations, A and B. And if possible, variation A, we open the feet like a book, but know that you can keep them closed. And we're gonna sit really tall on our sit bones. So again, be aware you're not curling your lower back down and it may be more comfortable for you to like sit on a pillow or a little blanket to lift your hips. And then we're pressing our chin right in against the chest. Shoulders, slide them down your back. Now looking down towards that navel with your exhale, just feel as your knees may draw a little closer to the earth. So each exhale, possibly drawing those knees a little closer to the earth. Keep your chin pressed into your chest. Just lengthening along the top of the shoulders, the back of your neck, and creating a little stretch in the base of your brain. And we're not clenching the teeth, jaw staying soft, forehead is soft. And just do one more breath here. Nice deep breath, getting into uh, that pelvic area. Now on your inhale, look straight out to the horizon and then just hinge at your hip as you exhale. Now the chest is gonna draw towards your feet, your chin just right above your toes towards the floor. So we're not pulling or reaching with the chin or the neck. And those lower arms can gently press to your lower legs, but being nice to yourself, we're not creating pain. And with the inhale, create a little more length through that spine. Exhale, maybe hinge a little deeper. Shoulders stay soft down your back. So move throughout your body. What is happening here? Where you, can you create softness? And what is your breath doing? Keep it deep and smooth. And do one more breath. And then as you inhale, you slowly bring your body up. And exhale, we're gonna release. We're gonna come down onto our back and we're going to come into a modified bridge pose. So lowering down, you're gonna bring your feet flat to the floor and there should be space between your feet. Arms are down, palms against the mat, again slide those shoulders down. Now imagine that you're standing on your feet and as you inhale, just press through those heels, lift those hips. Now again, being aware of your body, your body just may wanna stay on the floor here. But come to your breath and lifting those hips, be aware not to turn your toes out, keep your feet straight. Those hips keep lifting a little higher towards the ceiling. You're opening through the front of those thighs, the front of your hips, creating a nice long straight line from your knees to your shoulders. And the jaw stays soft, we're not clenching the teeth, the forehead is soft. Now again, if possible, maybe walking those shoulders a little closer in, maybe holding those heels, or maybe lacing the fingers, palms together, or just keeping your hands flat to the earth. But as you breathe, I want you to press a little deeper down in that floor and lift those hips a little bit higher. Feel your chest as it comes towards your chin. Be aware not to flatten the back of your neck into the floor. Do one more breath here. And on your exhale, just slowly lower down. And then we're gonna draw our knees to our chest and just stay here and breathe. Nice deep breaths. Use your exhales just to relax your upper back into your mat. And then extend your arms out, just letting those legs fall to the right. And if you can, looking to the left, just take a couple of breaths here. And bring your body to center. And let those legs gently lower to the left. If you can, looking to the right or just keep the neck straight. Arms down to the floor and breathe deep. And then bring your body to center, hands to your legs and either laying still or gently rocking side to side. And then coming to center, we're gonna get ready for corpse pose. And feel free to put socks, sweatshirts on, or maybe you have a blanket that you can throw over you. But we're gonna bring those legs down. And I want you to take a second just to press through those heels and then just let the legs and the feet relax away from each other. Arms are gonna come away from the body to your comfort. And if you can, you're gonna turn the hands so the back of your hands are to the floor, palms up. 
And then slide those shoulders down away from your ears. Softly close your eyes, take an inhale in, and sigh out tensions you're still holding. And take an inhale in, and sighing out. And take an inhale in, and just sighing out. And just feeling as your body settles down into the earth. And then let your body breathe itself, natural, normal breaths. And then here as your breath starts to become relaxed. And let your thoughts float across your mind. and relax throughout your toes and move that relaxation down through the bottoms of your feet relax the calf muscles relax the hamstrings and relax throughout the front of your thighs And relax the back of the hips. Relax through your lower back. Relax through the center of your back. And relax throughout your upper back. And relax through the upper arms. And relax through the forearms. And relax through the wrists and the fingers. And relax the inside of your stomach. Let go of knots that you're holding. And relax throughout your chest. And relax throughout your neck. And soften the scalp. And relax the forehead. Relax the eyes and relax the jaw. And just let everything go. Just feel as your body melts into your mat. Wiggle your fingers and toes to slowly awaken your body. And as you inhale, sweep your arms up alongside your head and really reach to give yourself a nice big stretch. And then exhale, bring your arms down alongside the body, hug your knees into your chest. With your eyes closed, gently rock your body from side to side. And then just let your body fall to one side or the other and just lay in a comfortable fetal position. And let your body relax into your mat. And then use your hands and walk yourself up to sitting. And when you come up to sitting, just still being aware of your body, sit nice and tall. And take a cleansing breath. Just take an inhale and sigh out tensions you're still holding.
And life is not a problem to be solved. It is an adventure to be lived. And I end with namaste.